work. And for them, it's helpful no. It's going to be very, very no for them. Because many youth realize that now they can't give us 5,000 naira. We can't spend 5,000 naira for five years or whatever for four years. And within my area, I think I spoke to some of the guys that you guys don't think or probably I don't know what you guys are going through. Someone is going to bring you or I'm going to give like a 2,000 naira for you to destroy a lot of people, a lot of protests. And how would that be an help to you? You know? And many of them doesn't know this will just be an, like, an issue to them. But I believe, I just want us to have a focus that we have a goal or we, have, we know where we are going. We don't need someone to start I really love what she said so much. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Akola Ali Alajidi. Um, of course, we, for us at New Nigeria Youth Movement, our eyes is on the ball. And that's why where our focus is on how we can come out better in terms of structure in terms of policy guidelines, in terms of, you know, developing a formidable movement that uh, will able to take us to a Nigeria of our dream. That's what we are talking about, a new Nigeria entirely, for, away from this uh, current uh, way we are running this country. So that's why for us in the new Nigeria youth movement, the call is to awaken the consciousness, the political consciousness as it is, of our youth, that we can actually take this power we want via the process. That is what we're about uh, here at the New Nigeria Youth Movement. So we are asking this evening that there is an allegation by the governors to push for the censorship of the social media because they say that the NSAS protest was meant to overthrow President Muhammad Buhari. We're asking, is it really the reality? Is this really the truth? And I have, and we said, if you want to speak to this, you can indicate for you to be unmuted. So you can simply say, unmute me uh, on the Zoom group chat. If this is being streamed on Facebook, I would like uh, Muhammad Elike to help uh, you know, also cover this. So I'd like to unmute uh, Dennis Oswa, Dennis Oswa to speak to this topic that selected governors are pushing for the censorship of social media. They say that NSAS protest was meant to overthrow President Momodu Buhari. How true is this? So I'd like to have uh, Dennis, I'd like to unmute Dennis. Adelike, can you help me do that uh, from your hand? I like to unmute Dennis. Dennis. Dennis, you can unmute yourself. Okay. Hello, everyone. Well, good evening, all. Good evening. We good can evening, hear all. You. Yeah, good evening. Yes. Um, thank you so much for having me here. Um, sorry I missed you yesterday, but... Uh, I'm here now and I love the topic so far. You know, you say something about um, the governors um, pushing uh, to have um, social media censored. Yes. Let me tell you the truth. The truth here is that they are looking for another avenue to loot Nigeria money. Because a lot of uh, money will be allocated for this particular project to be done from federal government. And these same crews, these same uh, governors, uh, well, the same way they have been doing for uh, years, we still find a way to take away the money. Look at what happened in Abuja. The CCTV cameras that um, Jonathan government installed everywhere. What happened to them? It's nowhere to be found today. So all these things is just uh, um, a way, yeah, according to the first lady, uh, that have made so many internally we are not happy we are not happy with the system we are not happy with the way this country is being run we are not happy with the way things that we all of us one way or the other will have 
people that have been outside this country and we see the way they do their own things. They value human life. They value their citizens. Exercise protest is all about regarding us, regarding us as citizens and treat us as citizens, not as um, 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 people you, 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 you're there to kill. No, we are not, we are not immigrants. We, are, we do not come from anywhere. This is our country. Our government, people in charge, that we, we ourselves pay their salary if we don't know. Because the way they are doing this thing, they are doing it as if they are helping you. No, you pay their salary. Because if you do not Okay. I think he's having some network glitch on his end. Okay, I think Dennis uh, is having some network difficulty on his end. So he has, he's made his point. The fact that um, the noise or the call, as it were, by the governors that they want to censor social media is only to open another conduit pipe through which yep. our joint resources can be appropriated to themselves, you know, legally. They will award contracts, monies will be paid, and they will claim that uh, they are doing something to censor the, the social media. Social media that um, you, the US have not been able to censor, social media that uh, even China has not been able to censor. Mark Zuckerberg went to China and posted on his Facebook, right? They, they just want to take off from, from, the, from their capital. Is it that is that the same uh, social media that uh, the Nigerian government wants to censor? And as the convener, okay, I think we have Dennis back. I'll let you have this. Let me complete this line. As the convener of uh, the new Nigerian movement, usually said that he doubts if um, President Muhammad Buhari has ever been to his own Facebook or his own Twitter account, or if he has ever seen it at all. So is it the same set of leaders that want to come and censor us? For us, who use the power of, of this social media to get the kind of country we want. For us, we believe if we structure ourselves properly, we believe if we do the right things at the right time, this will be an opportunity for us to use the power of the social media to get our country better. So I'd like Dennis to complete his line. I think he's back. Okay, okay. Sorry for that. Is the um, the same system we are um, we are we are with the same issues we are having all of us. Um what I was saying is that the governors they are they, they want to take us away from the main point of discussion, which is having a better Nigeria. They want to speak up Say, well, that's the reason why they're bringing up all these ideas of, and um, I've said, no, they thought this divide and rule. They will always look for ways to say, okay, um, because uh, Muhammad Buhari is from so, so area, that's the reason why everybody wants to overthrow him. All those things is just to distract the youth, divide us the way they have been doing for the past 60 years. Please, every one of us, it's about time we look at beyond our time and consider the future of our children. Because if we do not get this thing right this time around, believe me, our generation will become fair generation too. I know all of us are eager to have it, but let us remain focused because the governors, they are smart. Forget them, they are smart. They have um, a lot of smart people around them that will always teach them how to divide the youth so that we will never unite to fight for one goal. One goal, having a better society, having a better country, that we will be proud to say, this is our home. Not so, every day, so every day, day is, are running no. away. Simply, 
you are saying this protest is not about overturning President Muhammadu Buhari, but rather about getting a better country no. for ourselves and for our future generation. Yes. Thank yes. you very much. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you very much. I have Don Don Jose, Don Jose, if I got the name right. I have Samuel Dada. I have Chukuma Omufuju. So I'll take uh, Don Jose next, then yes. Samuel Dada to follow. Yeah, no yes, thank you, Don Jose. I'll, you, uh, you'll have the hair very soon. We said this yeah, discussion yeah. this evening is about the allegation by selected governors, the northern governors specifically, that um, they want to push for social media censorship because they say the NSAS protest was meant to overthrow President Mamadou Buhari. We are not going into that argument with them. What we are simply asking is, we'll give them a simple line answer. Is this true or is a force, and what do we really want from the Hensas movement? That's what this evening's discussion is all about. Thank you. I've been following you since yesterday, anyway. We started from restructuring yesterday, and uh, I was uh, trying to make my own view, but I couldn't come up. Then today also, we started. Um, I, am a, I am a dropout. I stopped in primary six, and I was in primary school when my late Mohammed Bugaria was the head of state of Nigeria. That was 1983, and up to this years, he still come up to become a president. Okay, 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 okay. I think I get your line, Don Jules. You see, yeah, I have not finished. Uh, hold on. This is um, another opinion. You've used the line that, um, of course, we are very careful of the way we speak here. We speak of what we can authenticate in as much as the presidency of the Federal Republic of Nigeria is concerned. The word Late Muhammad Ubari will not be allowed on this platform. I have to tell you categorically. You can see oh. the flag of Biafra you have behind you. I sympathize with the Biafran dream, the Biafran goal. I would want to see an Inewi that is the capital of um, industrialization in Africa. As I'm speaking, I'm in Asaba. I reside in Port Harcourt. So I want. I have a dream of a beautiful Biafra. I, will not, I don't mind staying here with my visas. It's not a problem after all. We have Nigerians in Mozambique. We have Nigerians in Ghana doing their business. But, but you, 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 you cut will me not off. Have it, it, they, don't me, they don't want me to finish. You just cut me up. Yes, because you, you used you, the you line you late Omar and I heard you clearly. So okay, I okay, want okay, the okay, admin, okay, okay. Listen, if you withdraw listen, it and you refuse, listen, and you know you such statement again, that's when I'll allow you to have the head. OK. Uh, 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 by gone. Let, let's that one gone. But uh, you, you see, you see um, if we are talking about that we are going to restructure Nigeria, we yes. have to start from A to B. Look at the protest we started. I am still out for the protest. Don't talk about anything, Biafra. I am more Nigeria than you. Correct. I don't, I'm not here. I am not in this platform to talk about Biafra. I have right to have any flag in my house. Both America, both UK, any flag I have, I want to have, I have right to have it in my house. So don't go there. Now, we are talking about to restructure Nigeria. What are we going to restructure? Are we going to restructure? Look at the protests we, are, we have been doing. We just started this protest, and SARS, and SARS, and police brutality. At the end of the day, they have hijacked, hijacked it. And after everything is just going like, it's going to be points. But blood has been wasted, and blood has still wasted. Now, the restructure, the ending of ending, ending SARS, they have restructured it to SWAC. 
and they are coming up very soon. And we are going up. That's why that's why the 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 the, the president come up and said that we are lazy youth. Because I was in primary school when he was the head of state. And the, I know that it's not up to 32 years when he became the head of state. That's why I'm a lazy youth, because he fought and become a head of state. Today, we are lazy youth because we started protests and then bring these boys, then bring police and make us to be afraid and go in. Now they say, okay, now they have restructured, they have brushed wars. And the protest quit. That is that the restructuring we are talking about, or is that the new Nigeria we are we are talking about? What is NSA, What is Ensa's protest about? Is it to overthrow President Muhammadu Buhari? From my own opinion, what I was expecting from Ensa's is to make sure that this government is resigned, starting from beginning to the last. It's not a crime. When the president are not doing good, then you step aside. We cannot have a president who cannot dress us. Okay, so you are saying we shouldn't went to we should I mean we shouldn't wait till 2023 to remove this government through the ballot. Is that what you are saying? 2023 is a 2023 is a very big long story because we just had an election and we have not seen the fact of that election not up to one year. They start talking about 2023. Are they talking to kids? I'm asking, you, I'm asking you, so you are not for a political process. You are not for, for electioneering. You I, believe I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not out for election. I, I am not out for election. I am out for them to resign. Let this okay, thank you very much. You have heard your view. John Dios, thank you very much. Let me finish. Let me finish. You have, heard your, you have heard your view. Huh? You have heard your view. They have heard your view. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you very much. You have heard the floor. Thank you very much. And that's another opinion. You see, and that's why it's good we that a platform like this is created where people can bear their mind, where we can know what our youth really want. That is done just for you. His opinion is that the protest should be about the government of the So we can say that uh, the governors are speaking from the position no. by the opinion of Don Jules. But as a movement, as a movement called the New Nigeria Youth Movement, that does not represent what we stand for. So I have to please, uh, for those of us that have, uh, I think uh, Abdelaziz, Izanaz, you as I was able to speak here, please let's have a little uh, so, Mr. Samuel, that you're welcome. Good evening, everybody. Yeah, it's my second day here, and I'm loving it because these have been heavy vision for for a very long time. That where every youth will come together, you know, and express themselves. It is true that uh, there are news that are very they are fake news. But what you have discovered for the past years in Nigeria is that fake news is always masterminded by these people in power. And you can't hesitate people not to call with their own way of view things when government is not coming out to say the truth. Look at our NTA, our national broadcasting televisions. They are not telling us the truth. Thank God for this popular culture that we're having now because there's what we call popular culture. The popular culture is what we call the smartphones, the Twitter, whatever it is. So, and the Western politics, they can never fight this popular culture, not to talk of Lai Mohammed or one Desmond Elliot. So, if you look at the fact now, they are now coming as they used to do to, to make their propaganda that the answer is to overthrow. What do, you see, we're still in the military era in Nigeria. And I, I want to tell anybody that is below 50 years to just wake up. If you are Igbo or you are Yoruba, you are Hausa, these people, they've run this country you know, in an evil way. And they want to continue with that system. How can you just come and say, NSAS is meant to overthrow a government? How do they overthrow? In the military setting, when you want to overthrow a, a government, you overthrow through the artilleries, the defense, and every component in the military unit. 
you don't just come to overthrow. Like the same thing they, they use for Shogore when they said revolution. And the guy continued to mention social revolution where everybody will come out and demand. And he stated all what he wanted. That is what, and it's happening all over the world where government will change their ways of governing, where there will be a modifications of constitution that is revealed of constitution. That is what they call about revolution. Revolution is turn around. And the, I said it yesterday, the methodology of revolution determines the kind of revolution we are having. Maybe a national revolution, we can, or an Arab Spring revolution, or the social revolution. And I still want to maintain, until we have about 100, let me say, from 100,000 above of youth gathered at a spot, going to 1 million to 2 million, eh? then we are ready to go. But if we fail to do that, these people will still come with military, with police. Look at the brutality they continue in Ibadan, where they stop people cutting their ears, asking them for money after they cut their head. You can imagine. We are still in the military era, and these people are not ready to leave power. They are not ready. And the, the, why, why do you see all the Northerners coming together? Why do uh, the Southerners governors are not coming together? Because, like I used to you, I used to say, the Southerners leaders, the politicians are policy receivers. They are policy, you know, bag makers. Why the Northerners are policy deciders, the policy makers? Because look at what happened. The Northerner governors come together and say answers into Rebu Buhari because they want to continue in the agenda of the Fulani supremacy they've been planning for years. We don't continue this way and you don't want people to, to, to talk of disintegration. You can't continue this way. I want people, look at the youth in the Northern attacking people because they are doing NSAS, because they, they've brainwashed them to make them believe NSAS is to overthrow Buhari. Is that how to overthrow? Do you overthrow a government in Lagos, a government in Abuja, and you're in Lagos, want to over is that the way to overthrow? <laughs> you overthrow people that has power, that has gone. Is that the way to overthrow? Why can these people just reason and talk senses as if the people are so dumb? My dear brother, we have about 70 percent of Nigerians that are below 40 years. If we can be able to do some political education in Nigeria, we are ready to go. Instead of all these unnecessary arguments we do within ourselves, the, the best thing to do now is how we can write in languages. We have 774 local, I can't remember, 7,074 local governments in Nigeria. If we can be able to get... 774. Uh -huh. So if we can get 10 people Nigerian youth that are below 40 years, well learned, and are ready to speak in that language, just 10, 10 from each local government. We can write in the in, in we can write in a form that people will understand what we are saying to, to give them some political education where they will be able to think on their own that what the government is saying is untrue. Because this youth, it is the same youth they use on Twitter, the same youth, the youth they use on social media to throw people without like. Like my mommy, my mommy used to tell me that you are coming to social media to talk. When you go back to Nigeria, they will arrest you. I said, mommy, it is only one gun. It is only one bullet. So all <laughs> these things, we can't continue this way. We can't continue this way. I was so disappointed when I came to Nigeria two years ago, up and down two, three times to come and do PVC, come back to Europe, come back to Nigeria for election. People were telling me that they were giving me money. Why I was doing it for my posterity. I brought my children about three years ago. My first daughter was five years. She was asking me, Daddy, why didn't you people learn how to make roads? Your roads are bad. I will, you can imagine. So now yeah. I'm afraid to take her back now. Now she's eight years. I'm thinking of taking her back to Nigeria. She will still make the same system she made about three years ago, 2017. And we are here fighting ourselves. I'm saying it, and I said it yesterday, until the Saturn younger generations come together. Nigeria can never be liberated because the Northern youth, they have brainwashed them. We will encourage them to open their eyes of reasoning. The, the only solution now is to educate political education, continuous one in all languages where people can understand that they are suffering, where people can know that the constitution is meant for them, it's not meant for the leaders, where people can understand that the power, it belongs to them. That is the only thing we can do from now to 2023. And if there will be an election in 2023, if there will be an election in 2023, let us have a young political party that will serve as alternative to APC and PDP. Nobody should bring the grudges of Jonathan or the grudges of Bola Tinubu to within the youth. 
We should send them to Paki and we can do it. There's something I didn't say yesterday. Just give me this minute. In my, in my world, eh, there were 859 people that are supposed to vote this last election last year. I went to the board and they did this fight. They placed everybody, 10, 10 names on the paper and they pasted everything. 859, I counted it. So we, I, I, I went there early. The people were there. They never started after two hours. I think around 10.30, they started the election. Now, what happened? After the election, how many people voted? More than 27. You tell me, 740 something people that did not vote. This is where the rigging comes from. Because the INEC knows already how many people voted and they will give it to APC, PDP. They will divide it among themselves and the incumbents will win. So if Nigerians can come out, the youth can come out immensely and stand by their vote. There was a video of Bola Tinubu I watched when Nuru Ribadu was about to go for president. That video, Bola Tinubu was telling the Northerners that one thing is to vote, another thing is to protect your vote on the line. One thing is to vote, another thing is to protect your vote. I'm a grassroots politics here in Europe. I do campaign as to house. I know how I talk to the Senegals, the Moroccans, the Tunisians to vote for a party, to make them understand why we need to vote for a particular party. We need to do sacrifice. But Nigerians youth, they are not politically wise or inclined. But now we need to start. We don't need to fight ourselves again. I receive a lot of interest because I'm a supporter of Oboyeri Showare. Not because of Showare, but for the new government to come. Because we all live in Europe. We know what it takes to live in Europe. Okay, thank you, Mr. Samuel Dada. Hmm. You're welcome. You really made your point today. You had you had your time today. Thank um, you very much. Happy that you did. Um, you raised a salient point that um, this movement, of course, is about bringing a better Nigeria. And from your understanding, how we can get this better Nigeria of, that we all yearn for is when we awaken our political consciousness, especially with the youth. But I would like to uh, um, state here, categorically, that um, we have an assumption, those of us down south, about those of them up north, that um, they are not aware. I really think they are aware, especially if you consider the level of access to information and the type of information they have. Remember they have BBC Aousa. And you see an average northerner who might not be schooled, who might not be educated according to the way we see them. But you see, it's transistor radio. We always be hmm. close to it. Yeah. They are politically conscious. That kind of consciousness is what we need down south. You, you, you refer to the statistics of um, election results in your own polling unit. 850 registered voters, but only about 100, less than 200 will, will turn up on, on the day of election. You, you seldom don't find such up north. We saw it during the 2019 election. We saw it during the 2015 election. Bono State that is under Boko Haram heavy attack, when it got to the time of election, <laughs> they ensured ballot boxes got there. And those people stood, even when we had, we, we saw it in the news that, that, that there was an explosion earlier in the day, those people in Meduguri still stood their ground, they casted their vote. But let's, let's, let's just oppose that to down south here. What do we do on election day? Is an avenue for the boys to play street soccer. Hmm. The an avenue for the ladies to remain at home and watch the, their series. This is what really needs to change, especially among we dancers. Now that we are we are awake, now that our spirit has been woken up via this protest, let's channel that energy to a political process that will give us the kind of leaders that we want. Next, I'm going to unmute uh, Chukuma Mufuju, and we'd like to also see your video. 
why you make your comment. And remember, we said today's topic is about the allegation that the NSAS protest is to overthrow President Buhari. Is this really true? That what NSAS protest is about? Thank you very much, Chuku. OK, uh, thank you very much, everybody. Uh, I've been following up with the conversation for some days now, so I decided to make a comment today. Uh, I think first and foremost, I want to talk about the NSAS, uh, because if we understand what it really means, I think it will help us understand the gravity of what the Northern, or some of those Northern government, uh, governors are talking about. Uh, first and foremost, I think I'll say the NSAS is kind of uh, a symbol uh, that kind of brought the pains uh, Nigerians are suffering, especially the youth, in the hands of the government or the public officials to bear. So that was just like a gravitational pull to pull the youth together. So when it started at first as answers, 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 you could see it didn't take time before it could uh, gravitate to other uh, level of demand like end bad government, uh, end uh, police brutality, and every other thing that started coming up uh, day after day for the days of the protest. So you can see uh, it's like more of a system symbol that enters of the pain that the Nigerians are looking at and they demand a better uh, Nigeria from the government or those people in public offices. They demand a system that works. So not just in the uh, security sector, but in general, a system that works where we all can say, okay, there's justice, there's equity, and uh, the people in offices are there to save the people. Uh, like they say now, which is a common saying, where the son of nobody uh, can become somebody without knowing anybody. So I think that is the general uh, consensus of the kind of demands that we are looking at in this uh, uh, series of time. But the truth about it is this, uh, if you look at what they said, uh, the, those Northern uh, governors said, we, we can't say completely that they are wrong. Uh, in the sense that the youths actually needed a better government, you agree with me. At the same time, they needed a better government very fast. They didn't want it to take uh, maybe some two, three, four years. The truth about it is that Buhari has given the best he can give currently. He has nothing to give, more than what he has given presently. Because you can't give what you don't have. And since he doesn't have good governance to give to the youths of Nigeria. Invariably, what the youths are demanding is not possible for him to give at this point in time. And the youths need it like yesterday, not even in three years time. So you see, if they say uh, the youths are trying to topple his government, they are not far from the truth because he can give good governance as it stands now. That's just the truth about it is what he has been playing through. That's what he's still playing. The incompetence is still in the system. The nepotism is still in the system. The tribalism is still in the system. He can't deliver on those promises. So even when the youths are demanding from it, he doesn't have it to give to them. That's why you see all manner of lies that are still flying in the system, even after uh, there are clear evidence that there were some killings in Lekki. Okay, let me just drop this as part of my thoughts as I'm shutting down. Uh, I want to say, since this is a movement and it's not a political party, it's good that we hit on certain things that drives us as a movement to be able to stand firm in the hearts of Nigeria. What do I mean by that? Uh, first and foremost, we need to look in the short term now, like what is happening currently about this Lekki massacre. We need to drive as much as possible, any way we can help to bring justice to, for those victims that were killed. If there's a good contribution from the Nigerian, new Nigerian youth movement to bring in justice to these people. It will have a way of registering in the heart of Nigerians that there's a youth that is moving for justice, moving for equity in Nigeria, and this was their contribution. A lot of lies are flying. I expect us to be having a conversation center of some of those tapes now that they said they played the video, uh, the video that they had for the CCTV camera stopped at eight o'clock. We should be able to start looking at what things can we draw out now to push as uh, facts against this truth they are trying to distort. We all know they are trying to distort the truth. So we should be able to uh, look critically now and say, how do we uh, tackle the lies that are in the system in the short term? That's what I mean. If we can do that and bring justice for people, 
uh, that were murdered or that were killed or shot at at that particular 2010, 2020. I tell you the truth, the impact of this movement will be, will be larger. We're looking at getting PVC, looking at 2023. We are not political party. I think there's a young people political party that are there. Good. This might, we have encouraged people in this platform, join any party. So it's good. But key things I think we should be driving at are things that could quickly uh, put a stamp of what we stand for and that we are acting. Take advantage of what is happening now. If we can drive, especially for these guys that were killed and be able to put points together to unravel or unbox what they are trying to lock out and throw away very fast. I think we'll be able to support the panel that is investigating to get key information to bring those people to book. And the truth about that, if we can really unravel this present situation, it's going to help uh, clear the airspace for any 2023 we are talking about. This is an opportunity to actually drive at to clear that airspace for some of those people that are already there. Because by the time the true story about what happened 2020 comes out, uh, many of them won't be able to raise their head even in 2023. How much more to say they are coming to contest or to canvass for votes. So that's where I'll rest my case for today. Thank you. Unmute yourself, uh, Mr. Moderator. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Samuel. I said um, Mr. Chukuma raised certain salient point that is very important to us a movement. And it's usually very good that we know where we are coming from so that we we'll know what forms our present situation and what is informing where we are heading for. And that's why we usually inform that we should take our time, go to our pages, try to see the videos that we did that led to this movement. The suggestions that came up before we decided a movement would be better at this time. An endemic movement that will permeate all social strata of the Nigerian society, be it politics, be it economics, be it technology, be it social, be it information, everything. A movement that will bat the kind of Nigeria that we want. Now, as stated earlier, this movement is to encourage all youth to ensure that they are politically active. We are not forcing you to any political party. We are not forcing you to PDP. We are not forcing you to APC. We are not even forcing you to the new NYDP, no. If APC is what, is what works for you in your locality, take over APC, take over the structure, become the councillor, emerge as the councillor, influence who will come up as the state assembly member, influence who will be coming up as the House of Rep member, influence who will get your Senate tickets. That's what we are talking about here. That we want everybody to be politically conscious first because we discovered that most of the youth, if not for this protest, some cannot even differentiate between APC and PDP. Why? Because somebody that was APC yesterday, tomorrow morning is PDP, and he loses primary in PDP, next tomorrow morning he has picked up the, the next available APC ticket. So, you know, they've gotten the youth confused, so the youth just left them. They are politicians. This issue is not supposed to be like that. We're not supposed to leave our common word for only politicians. This country belongs to all of us. Like uh, Chukuma mentioned a line that has become popular as a result of NSAS protest that was said by um, Aisha Yusufu that um, we want a new Nigeria where the, ch the child of nobody can become somebody without having to know anybody. This consciousness that we now have awoken, the way we can get it, is to ensure that we all become politi politically conscious so that we will not just be giving out our opportunity. We will not be voting just anybody into office. And the person that gets into office first clinched a primary ticket. 
and that's what we are calling for here. That we, the youth, should wake up and we should be involved in who emerge as the ticket bearers of these political parties, both APC, PDP, and even the newly created NYDP. If we just believe we've created NYDP and we are at Eldorado, we might be deceiving ourselves. Even the NYDP, we need to be involved in the operation of the party, in the selection of the candidates of the party. I'll give you an example. Look at what we had in 20, 2019. The showery of this world, a Mwagali of this world, a, a, a Fola Durotoy of this world, Donald Duke, the former governor of Cross River State, Obi Zukwisili. Imagine these five names I've mentioned. Imagine if they are in the floor of the Senate. Imagine a situation where they all went into a room, they could not come out to present a lead candidate for us to rally around so that we can really have a third force. Rather, we had the third force split into, into uncountable groups. Go and check out the 2019 results yourself. The number speaks for itself. APC had 13 point something million. I think P picked up about 11 million or there about. And the next party was uh, 30 something thousand. That would take us to nowhere. So it's either we come together from a, form a formidable thought force or we permeate the existing party. I mean, the existing parties. Two of them, both the APC and the PDP, they have conventions. Start from your ward, from your ward to the state, from the state to what they call the region, the the uh, the zone, according to the six geopolitical zones. Then we can dream of clinching the presidency. So as we said that we are channeling the energy of this entrance movement into a political process, a positive one that will lead us to a country that we want as a people. So I have um, Mohamed Abere here. He was on the show yesterday. He, I'm, I'm going to read out his chat and he's saying, that we have different demand from, from, um, from reforms, good governance, restructuring, or to even breaking up. As a movement, we need to articulate our stand clearly. Whatsoever we want to achieve, the process must be gradual for us to succeed. To succeed. And that's what we are saying here, that you cannot build on nothing. We need to start from the foundation, each and every one of us, should go back to his ward and be politically active. Imagine what Samuel Dada said earlier, traveling to and fro Europe to get his PVC, to participate in the election. Those of us that are on ground here, what have we really done to participate in the political process? So once again, I'd like to take us back to the topic of today, which is, the question that the answers protest, is it a ploy, a plan, or whatsoever to overthrow President Muhammadu Buhari? Is it really true as alleged by some select governors, specifically the Northern governors? And you know, this coming up today speaks to the fact that what we was mentioned on this show yesterday is true. Mm. What he called in and said he's been receiving intimidation from the allies, from the political class, that inviting them to the new Nigeria movement is trying to open the high of the youth up not. But I believe the youth up not, they are, it is not just this movement that will open their high. They are already politically conscious. We are saying, is it the, 
the kind of Nigeria that we really want? Are we going to continue like this? If we really want a better country for ourselves, we need to participate and join in the process of selecting the leaders that emerge for us. And the numbers don't lie. If we have a situation where we it's only 20% voters turn out that we'll have on the election day, then we cannot get there. We'll only continue to complain. So since I cannot see anybody indicating interest in uh, clarifying this, okay, Abdulaziz Temitope Badmos is here and he wants to clarify if the NSAS protest was meant to overthrow President Muhammad Bari as alleged. Okay, Abdulaziz, you have the floor. Uh, good evening, everyone. I'm very happy to be in this platform. In fact, I've been uh, yearning to be in this in this kind of platform. Can you hear, all hear me? Go ahead, we can hear you. Uh, you, you know, what the, what the government saw just caught them on our way because they are not, they are not uh, they, they, they don't even believe this kind of thing can happen. So that is why they are confused. They are saying this, they are saying that, they are saying all sorts of things. Uh, my, own, my own view is that that is their own thinking, that the NSAS protest was to overthrow Mr. President, which was not true. Everyone in Nigeria, when the when the movement started, everyone, uh, most of people don't know what it's all about. Even some uh, uh, commercial motor, motor, motorists do complain that these people are just disturbing us with insults, all, all, all sorts of things. But later, when when things start going uh, growing up, that is when they now realize that. All what these people are saying is for the good of this for for the good of this country. So uh, I, I should not even I should not waste much of my time here. The thing is that the NSAS movement is just the beginning of the, uh, what we want because we we need good governance in this country and. Uh, some, we must start from somewhere. The answer is just to start something for this country. So uh, um, I'm very happy to be opportune to, to be in this platform. So that is my little contribution. Okay, thank you very much, um, Abdulaziz. Um, when somebody that I spoke earlier mentioned the fact that we need a strategy that we will use to communicate in the local language of each of the 774 local governments we have in Nigeria. And that, as a movement, we will ensure that our committee on strategy and structure implement. We will implement a methodology of ensuring that we are able to communicate in the local language of our people in their different location. With that, we'll be able to speak to our people in the language they understand. So I want to thank every one of you for taking time out today to chat about how we can get a better country for ourselves and for our future generation, which is the essence of the new Nigeria youth movement. Because the movement is born out of the fact that 
we the youth want to channel the energy. Because some of us have been politically conscious all the way. But when we look at our other colleagues, you don't get encouraged. Because they seem not to really understand the importance of getting involved. I have a suggestion. Okay, mm. I'll get back to you, Zioma. Oh, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. You know, you get discouraged when you get to chat with your colleagues that are youth. A lot of them not not are not having the knowledge of how governance work. Can't even differentiate between the legislature or the executive. Mm -hmm. And you are speaking with a graduate at times. It does not, you don't even necessarily have to be a graduate before you know these basics. Right. But I'm happy with what NSAS has brought. So I'm going to have with you. And don't forget that the, <laughs> the show started 7 o'clock. As such, we are going to round up by 9 p.m. So we only have less than 20 minutes to go. So, Ozioma, you have the floor. You have the mic. Okay, so um, good evening, I would like everyone. to see your video if you can. Because <laughs> that's a rule. Okay, okay sorry, thing. please. I'm camera shy. Um, good evening, everyone. My name is Ozioma. I don't know if I'm debating, but then um, I'll make a suggestion. We got the, um, this and uh, this platform going across the several years in for local government, I suggest that in each state there should be a representative. I think that will help enforce laws and enforce the um, strategy. I don't know if I'm communicating. So yes. each representative in each state that will help us broadcast. And then we should also do this through social media. Yes, we should also try to strategize and look for um, people or employ people who are very, very good with IT media and because that's a channel and that's the platform people use to reach out to others. And then, um, secondly, I'll also suggest that with regards to the Zoom meeting, the topics for each day should be um, communicated before the meeting day, just to allow mm -hmm. everyone um, what's the word now? Like to allow everyone prepare and you understand know, familiarize themselves before the um the zoom meeting does that make sense hello can everyone hear me yes we can hear you yes, we, we can, can hear, hear you. you we can hear you we can okay. hear you okay okay i think that's my own suggestion um basically that's all for now yeah. thank you thank you Ozioma. Um, okay. Those are the things that is currently happening, you know, behind the scene. The convener and um, the team that is working with him, uh, we are doing this behind the scene, you know. We are looking at, uh, we've had over five, 500 responses to the forms and um, we want this number to continue to grow. And um, We've had a lot of persons, you know, offering and volunteering to join committees. If you have not done that, mm -hmm. go to our Facebook group or our, uh, our Facebook page. You will find the link to um, the form there. So we are doing, we are putting these structures in place, and uh, with time, we will see how uh, all these uh, things will uh, come up, and we hope it comes. Uh, as good as uh, the plan that we're currently putting into it. Okay. I have Oluato oh. since a day rock bar. I have, um, okay. I also have uh, Muhammad Abiri. So I'll pull up Oluato since a day rock bar. Like I said, um, the show started seven o'clock and uh, by nine o'clock, we hope to close the show for the day. Exactly. That is the <coughs> session run. So, Olu wash chosen a day a day ruagba. It's a day ruagba. A day ruagba. Olu ato si a day ruagba. You will have to. I want you to speak to the fact that uh, the question we are discussing this evening is uh, this movement answers. Is it about um, is it about bringing down the presidency of 
president Mamadou Bari and the governors are using this heavy war, quite heavy, overthrow. I, are we in a military rule that we'll be talking about I, overthrow? So I think I think I think that that allegation from those governors is just a business a business allegation because everyone knows um, the ethics of our, our, our police uh, officers around there. Even though I am a person, whenever I, I try to go out and I see one of these SAS men around, I, even though without even committing any crime or having something incriminating on me, the fear, as in the fear that just come into my mind, like these people can just stop me at any time, just harass me or just arrest me without committing any crime. So they just, because I think what they, oh, they were not expecting people to actually come out, come out to, to voice their differences in such, in such way. So for, for, for the, because of the crowd, the end fast movement pulled. So they were kind of afraid that this is the beginning of a revolution because from this, uh, from, from, from that, from that movement, they can change their ideology like, okay, from NSAS, we want to um, head to bad government. And they know they, they knows themselves that they are not performing, they are not performing well. And again, as regards what the uh, other lady said previously, I think it's, it, it's a very good idea. We need, we need to create awareness. Like we need to create awareness to everyone. We need to have a representative, even though from local governments, not even states. We have to have a representative in every local government so as to create awareness to people, so as to uh, so as to give orientation so that people will know that uh, people will share with the ideology because it's not everyone that 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 has the opportunity to use social media. So even though the hoodlums that this government use even to disrupt the entire movement, we need to find a way to like say, to, to to like reach out to them. For them to share with our ideology that we want a good Nigeria, that not nobody is agitating to remove to remove an elected elected uh, uh, president or governor or, or whatsoever. But what we want is a good government. We want we want our government to like do things that we want. We want them to do things that we voted them for. It's not for them to just come there and enjoy and live in our friends and just enjoy their life. So I think that's my little contribution. Hello. Yeah. I'm sure. So, the next person now. So, uh, I know that we can call the next person to give us a contribution while we wrap up in a couple of minutes. Yes, we are wrapping up very soon. And um, can you hear me? I hear yeah. you. Okay. So, we said. We thank Oluwatosin for coming up, and that's what this platform is about. This platform is about giving the opportunity for we, the youth, to bear our mind, to tell it the way it is in our mind, to tell, to, to share our experience. You can see what Oluwatosin said that, you know, he's experiencing trauma when he sees police he does, he, 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 or any uniformed person. He does not know. He, he's not sure if he's safe. You know, when he see the next uniformed man on the streets, and that's because of the trauma that uh, we've gone through in the hands of um, our uniform personnel, our security personnel, um, all over the years, as a result of the experience we've had. So we want all of us to join us and to also call others to join. How many persons have you invited to join this group? Have you had, have you had our links posted on, on your social media handles? Have you had our links posted on your WhatsApp status? Have you had our link posted on your Facebook page or your Facebook um, timeline? If you have not done that, kindly do so. You can see how everybody is expressing the joy that this platform has created, giving us an opportunity to judge or to speak to ourselves and 
to suggest way forward better country that we want for um, uh, our, genera our, 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 our generation to come. I have a suggestion. And um, we're about to end up the show. We only want to call our attention to the fact that uh, we all need to spread the news about the new Nigeria youth movement. Um, Mama Dalileke, if you're there, I'd like you to help um, share our links. The links to all our social media handles, the Facebook, the WhatsApp group, the Telegram, please kindly help share these links. Let those of us that are present in today's show also share it so that uh, the news of a new Nigeria can go around. If we have any announcements, any announcements? No announcement, though, but what I'm saying is that, please, the topic for tomorrow should be posted this evening. Okay, thank you very so much. Everyone uh, can participate. Yes, thank you very much. We've had that, and um, that will be done. The topic and time for the meeting would be posted on our social media handles, and that's why we are asking that uh, we all join those handles. We are asking that uh, we all invite others to join those handles too. Because when we do, it's going to make it um, easy for this information to spread as fast as uh, we need them when we share them. We had announced earlier the number of groups that we have. We had announced earlier that uh, we should all volunteer for the committees. Hope you have done that. If you have, if you have volunteered, for a committee. We have the finance committee, the strategy and structure, the media and movement to government, that is those that will be relating between us as a movement to the government, the grassroots and engagement, the IT, and the membership and database. You can see we have there posted the link to the Telegram group. I also like that to be on Facebook, as we're streaming live, and the link to the WhatsApp group and Telegram group, that's what you have pasted there. The page, the new Nigeria HQ is pasted. The Zoom link for our Zoom for the shows is also posted. So kindly spread uh, all these links so that we can have a fruitful and engaging conversation going forward on this platform as we've always had. And then uh, hopefully by tomorrow, our regular anchor will be available to anchor us. Thank you very much. My name is Ahmed Akonde, signing out on behalf of the convener, Dr. Stephen Akitayo, and the rest of the team. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Have a nice rest and wish you victory in your various endeavors. Thank you for joining today. I'm signing out. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Thank you. You are Bye. welcome. Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye.